Well, hi everybody. This is the Naper Camouflage Sports Camel Truck Tent 57 Series. And it's going to go, I'll show you the truck it's going to go on. It's a Grizzly Sierra 2014. It's set up like a 250. It's got height to it, like a three inch height. We're gonna put that in the back of it. We're gonna stay up here in Northern Michigan for seven days. Got my boat in the little lake here. It's fall time. It's beautiful up here. This lake is like glass. The lake up in Northern Michigan, Secret Lake. We're gonna fish here for a week and live in that little naper. So hopefully we won't get wet with all these storms coming. At the end of the week, supposed to be snow. Can't believe it. Just October 28th. The first time we put this little naper up, it took us like 45 minutes. We read the directions and I took some pictures of it with my phone. And I think it's easier just to put it up on the ground and then pick it up, set it in the back of the truck. Well, we have it all up except for the rain fly. We're going to put the rain fly on right now. It sets right there and you just pick it right up and set it on the truck. Works slicker and shit with two people. Well, we have it all together. We're just going to pick it up, set it on the back of the pickup, and then start hooking it down. Right now it's took us probably 10 minutes. So I'm going to set it up there. Well, once you get it set on there, it won't run on there easy to start pulling the straps down. When you do it once, the straps the next time will be all adjusted for you. That's one of the hardest things about it. We just got to put the porch extended out and Get everything buttoned down good like this right here. This spot needs to be right down or rain could go in. Well, we got it all up. We're put, putting our mattress in. This mattress is a really nice mattress. It's going to be nice sleeping on this. The housing is kind of on the cheap side. But this mattress, I think, is going to be really nice. Can't wait to spend the night. Well, it's supposed to get down in the 30s tonight. And they said severe storms, rain, hail, thunder, lightning, could even be tornadoes. We're setting up our little nest here. We're going to have to survive in this for a whole week. It's going to be awesome. Fishing and staying in the neighbor tent. Well, good morning, everybody. It was a rough night last night. It poured all night long. Thunder, lightning, biblical rains. We stayed dry good news but the problem we had is our air mattress let us down it went flat gonna have to check it out and see why it went flat that mattress made it very uncomfortable going flat your feet was way up in the air and your hips was down on the bed of the truck your head was way up in the air so it kind of kinked your body we filled it up it was nice and full I don't know what happened this insert here where you put air and looks like everything's right. I'm gonna have to check it out with soap and water and see if it leaked. This is a brand new mattress. This is supposed to be one of the better mattresses on the market and it went flat. But inside the little naper, it just poured all night long and we stayed dry. It says you're supposed to waterproof these things. I was reading the directions. I guess I should have read them before we come up here. It says waterproof the seams and stuff. We got a little moisture right here in the side. But it poured all night long. 
and for not having that silicone spray on it it done really good we're gonna get some today and waterproof this thing because it's forecasting rain on and off most of the week so stay tuned well, I'm going to see, try to see what's wrong with this mattress. I'm going to put some soapy water on that where you put the air in. And my wife's up there. Got some weight on the mattress to force out some air. I don't see it leaking anywhere. It just went flat. Airbed mattress. It's like 270 some dollars and it went flat the first night. Not good. I think it had a little bit of dirt around it. I cleaned it up. We're gonna give her a try again. It's breakfast time. Well, we got camp just about all set up. Everything's working really well. Everything's dried out, ready for another evening. We'll get up tomorrow morning and go fishing. This afternoon I installed lights in the back of the neighbor. I put them inside the awning canopy here. We have this all set up. I have a inverter hooked to a battery and it runs all these lights and it's running the neighbor. There's a plug in there where I could charge my phone or whatever we need. I'll show you this when it gets dark. It should look cool. See ya. Well, here it is, probably 9 o'clock at night. It's all lit up in here, real nice with these energy saver bulbs. Like a big grizzly bear blanket. This is our second night here. Hopefully no storms tonight. See you in the morning. Day three, still dark outside. Woke up by the rain, raining again. Second night of rain. It didn't rain all night though. Everything's dry in here. The vapors holding up perfectly. High and dry. Super quiet all night. Slept good. 
another good news. The mattress stayed up, slept like a baby all night. Stay tuned, can't wait to start the day. Well, I'll show you how much rain we got in the boat in this last couple hours. Not a lot, but it's raining. This is day three. The little tent's holding up great. Still high and dry. That air mattress, though, let us down. I'll update you on that. I'll let you see inside. Check out the mattress. Air bed mattress. The tent's still nice and dry. Thumbs up on the tent. I've, this is my third day. More rain and we're still dry. That was my biggest concern about this whole setup. I didn't want to get wet. The original air beds, truck bed air mattress. This is down quite a bit. We had this just full last night. Look, you can almost push it to the bottom just overnight. We paid quite a bit of money for this. When we get back home, it's going back to the company. Hopefully they'll refund the money. But the little tent, thumbs up. Well, this is evening three, day day three. We've been here. We're going to be here till next Saturday, like five, four more days. Still raining. This afternoon it cleared up, and we went fishing. We caught a couple fish, flayed them up, put them in the cooler. But the little vapor it's still holding up it's rained this morning it rained quite a bit i showed you it in the boat now it's still raining it's high and dry got our vents open just airing it out today things are still working good the air mattress i blew back up it's nice and hard we'll see how it is in the morning So it didn't hold up last night very well, or the night before. But this is all we have, so we're going to give it another go. See you in the morning. Well, it's day four. Rained all night again last night. Never seen so much rain in my life. We stayed dry. The airbed mattress is letting us down every night. It's down again. It's going back to the company. When we get back, I punched this yesterday and I showed you how hard I had it. Now it's it's not down as bad, but it's still it's down. 
I'll show you another little secret weapon we have for the Naper. I made this little shelf at home and the little buddy heater will fit right on there inside the Naper on the tailgate. I'll show you how it fits. The little shelf can be storage under it and the little buddy heater will set right on top. You can run it off a, just a little cylinder or a 20 pounder, which I have right here. And I have the hose and connection to run it. This is how the little buddy heater sets in here. It just sets like on the tailgate. And I got it on a stand that's, I made it so it's not real wobbly. It'll knock the flame out if you don't. You just light the pilot. Hold it down for just a few seconds, let up. Turn it on low. And it lights right up. And it's like a little furnace in here. I think the pile of the light alone would heat this little place. Well, that's how it looks with the little buddy heater going. It's already warmed up in here. It's probably in the low 50s outside and windy so it's kind of chilly the wind blowing off the lake you could camp in this probably with snow on the ground extreme conditions that little heater will run you right out of here i think you could just leave the pilot light on all night and keep it the chill off so we have heat lights Nice little bed. You can drive this pickup right back into the back country and camp anywhere this truck could go. Extreme camping. Love it. Stay tuned. Well, it's finally stopped raining, still kind of misting. Now we're frying up some fresh fish that we caught out of the lake today. Then we're gonna set her at the side of the lake and eat our fish and hamburger helper and enjoy the evening. Stay tuned. Well, it's day four in the evening. We just got done eating our fish and hamburger helper. And it's raining again. I checked inside the naper, it's still dry. Things are looking good for tonight. Well, this is the end of day four. Got the naper all lit up, starting to warm it up to go to bed. Starting to get dark. This is how it looks with the buddy heater in it. I just turned the buddy heater on probably five minutes ago and it feels like it's 70 in here already. It's nice and toasty. Gonna have to turn it down a little bit. Should sleep good tonight. It don't look like it's gonna rain rain's really loud on this tent when it's pouring but it's nice to be in here where it's dry 
I'll see you in the morning. Well, it's day five. We're up in Adam. It's raining again. It was nice for like an hour and it started raining. The little tent, the neighbor, is holding up good. Slept really good. No rain last night. I just checked inside. It's high and dry. We're going to go for a little ride today and look at some color and get out of camp. We've been here for four or five days. Be nice to see some of the countryside around here. If I see anything pretty, I'll video it. Well, this is our fourth night staying in the little neighbor tent and pumping up the air mattress for the fourth time. Every night it went flat, the original air bed mattress. Every night it goes flat. There, still raining. The little neighbor tents performing beautiful it's rained all day long it's about four o'clock now on the fourth day lots of rain this trip we've been fishing in between the rains we're gonna go out as soon as it quits this evening and we'll call it a day well it's finally stopped raining here we're gonna go out and do a little fishing and then come back and probably turn in for the night. Hopefully it'll be a dry night, night five. Well, it's day six. And it rained for like three hours last night. The little neighbor, we stayed nice and dry in that. And the update on the mattress, day six, flat again. I'm hoping the company will take take it back. Well, it's about 10 o'clock here on the sixth day. Still raining, lightly misting out on the lake. It's a little misty, but we're heading out fishing. Gonna give it a try. Gotta go in between the heavy rains. Six, blowing up the air mattress. This is getting old when you got to blow it up every single day. I would not recommend this air mattress to anybody. Well, this is day seven. Everything's went real good on our fishing trip except for the mattress and the rain. But we dealt with the rain. This mattress, I still got kinks in my neck and back. Thumbs down on that mattress. On the little vapor tent, two thumbs up, kept us dry all while it was up here. Had biblical rains for seven days on and off. I enjoyed staying in it, something different. Well, if you like this video, I have more videos on off-grid cabin, cabin life on YouTube. Thanks for watching.